Hello everyone, welcome to SAP Technomaniac. In this video, we will learn about client handling in CDS table function. Let's get started. In my last video, we have created simple CDS table function. As I told you, we have it. Whenever we create the CDS table function, there is a two part. One is the CDS entity where we define the CDS table function. Second is the CDS table function have AMDP function implementation. So this is the AMDP function which we define here and we have implemented in the AMDP class is a database function. Inside this database function which we define in the AMDP class we write the code in database language. So for HANA database the database language is the SQL script. So as you can see the language is the SQL script. We are writing all the code, whatever we write in this method that will be in the SQL script. Now we discuss about client dependency. As I told you, by default, whenever we create the CDS table function, it is client dependent. But still, we have to make the CDS table function client independent, we have an annotation. So annotation is at the rate you can write at the rate annot client handling type and you can define the client handling type. But for the CDS table function you can't define inherited since in the CDS table function we are not using any select statement over here in the CDS entity from that the CDS table function can't be derived. So inherited client handling type is invalid for CDS table function. If you see here inherited annotation invalid value. So it, so we have to remove this one. It can't be inherited. It can be either client dependent which is by default or it can be client independent. First we talk about the client dependent CDS table function. So whenever the CDS is client dependent first most important thing first field of your cds table function return return of the cds table function is mandatorily to have client type if i try to remove this first field from here i will get an error this particular cds table function is marked as a client specific and type of first field is not a client. So type of your first field should be a CLNT then only you will be able to activate this CDS table function otherwise you will get an syntax error. So let me do control Z and let me define my first field as a client. As soon as I define it will be activated and I will not get the error. So in the implementation is in my last video for this particular AMDP function implementation I created the AMDP class we have defined the interface for this particular AMDP class and we define one method for this particular CDS table function and we have implemented this method using the database function in the SQL script language in the read only form and we wrote simple select statement in SQL script language and we are returning these two values in the tabular format. One more important for the client dependent CDS table function is the whenever this particular return comes to and we will use this CDS table function either in SQL statement or in another CDS table CDS view CDS view and DDIC view this particular client field will not act as a field what I mean by that this is the not part of your structure at all we will not get in our final result this client field at all this will be used just for the implicit client handling since it is client dependent and if I try to execute and see the result let me activate first control F3 and let me activate this also control F3 let me open both the things parallelly 
and let me try to data preview my CDS table function. To do data preview, you have to do, you have to click on F8. So you can see you are getting just one field as a client. If, but the one more important thing for the client dependent CDS table function. If you open this particular CDS table function and let me put breakpoint here and see before going to that uh, let me remove this breakpoint and do one more time data preview or see the how many entries we are getting for from this result if you click on number of entries over here you can see 1110 1110 entries we are getting from this particular client which client we are using we are using here 200 client our current client is a 200 client Okay, uh, you can see this is the 200 client for YTSC system. So, how many entries got? 1000 around. We have we got the entries from this CDS table function result. Let me put now breakpoint and see internally when we are executing this particular CDS table function, how many entries are available in IT underscore VBAK. Let me do one more time F8. This time, Breakpoint will trigger and you will see you will see the internal table it underscore vbak. This code is written in SQL script. When we debug, F5 will not work. We have to do F6 for that. Let me do F6. As soon as I do F6, you can see it vbak table is having 2794 entries. If I double click over here, and let, let me increase little bit this one. It, it is currently displayed only 100 rows. Let, uh, in still I can see it is getting the data from the current client. Not only from the current client, it is getting from the other client as well. You can see 200 and we got from the 600 client also. But here the number of entries is 2794. But in our final result, when the CDS table function output came, it only displayed 1000 lines. So why we need to get in the internal table at the database level these many entries? Why can't we get only the entries which is required in the final result? We can do, let me do F8 as of now and go, let me switch to ABAP perspective. We came to ABAP perspective. For that, what we will do, we will pass SAP recommend us to pass a parameter as a client whenever we are using the client dependent CDS table function. So we will create for this particular CDS table function our first parameter. So for defining the parameter, this is the part of the template only. So what I can do, I have to give the parameter name. You can give any name. Let me give client. And what is the parameter type? So ABAP dot control space CLNT. I want to pass a parameter as a client. But you can see whenever parameter at the rate environment must be set. Whenever we are using the parameter as a client the, for the CDS table function, we have to mandatorily set the this particular environment system field annotation for this particular parameter is how it impact this particular environment system field as I already explained in my one of the previous video but still I will show you how it will impact here it is mandatory but in the normal CDS entity or CDIC based CDS function CDS we don't no need to mandatorily pass this particular environment parameter so let me pass environmental uh, can I do control one and it will work no there is no no it's no it is still not valid so let me pass at the rate environmental system field so so you can see as of now the system field is a client Control space, 
we are using a client so this error will be get removed from here so what will be the impact of this particular client field in normal cds and the ddic with cds and even we are creating here so what it will do when we don't pass in whenever we call this particular cds table function when we don't pass any client on the execution time by default it will take the current client because we pass the default value as a system client so this is the this particular annotation will do so here it is mandatory to pass because whenever we execute the this particular cds table function when we call in another select statement that we are going to do or we, when we do the data preview it will ask for the client field if we don't pass by default it will pass the current client due to this particular annotation let me activate this one control f3 let me try to execute but not only here we have to use but also we have to change our select statement which we have written in our native statement since we have passed the parameter we we can use that parameter client parameter in our in our sql script code and we can restrict here itself the number of entries when when we this particular select will be executed then we will get only the data from the current client not from the other client so that that for that purpose what we have to do why to get 2000 entries here itself if we have uh, why to get the entries from the other client we can put the where condition as i this is as i told you this is native sql statement it will not do implicit client handling for the select statement in the normal open sql statement we don't pass client also even through it will get the data from the client only because at the database interface level the client field will be added in the this open sql statement and open sql statement will be converted into the native sql statement at the database interface level and then it will send to the database but here we are writing the directly code in the native sql state native sql itself what is the native sql language sql script we are writing our code in sql script language so we have to pass the client if we want to filter the data based on the client we have to pass the client client because as i told you the cds amdp functions will be uh, when the amdp framework run it will use the direct path it will not go through the application server and then database server it will not go to through the database interface which is available in the application server instead it will directly call the native is a native sql code run directly on the database it will not interact with with the application server instead of that it will directly run at the database level that is the advantage of the cds table function because it will directly run the on the database level and our database is powerful why it is powerful watch out my previous videos so um, we have to pass mandate equal to so as i told you we have to host variable here as well but instead of at the rate we use the caller let me pass the client field if you do control space i think i should get some values but i am not getting c l i e n t still i am getting error no let me activate this one control f3 and let me put here again back so we can again see in the debug mode how the data is coming control f3 let me close it out let me do f8 now so you can see the debugger will trigger first because we have the breakpoint at place and it will switch to debug perspective the debugging debugging is almost similar to the normal abap debugging how we do okay it's taking time let me close it out let me go to again abap perspective let me close it out let me do 
control F3. Let me do control F3 here as well. It got activated both the things. Let me do one more time F8. So data got triggered here. Let me close it out. Debugger didn't trigger. Let me put remove that breakpoint and put again. Okay. So debugger cannot be started because there is already active debugger instance for username. Do you want to terminate all debugger instance for your username and retry? Okay. Okay. Let me try to execute again. So debugger got triggered here. So we can see uh, the internal table IT VBK, VBAK is there. We can do F6 since F5 here will not work. You can see 1110 entries are there. So now we are getting the data only from the current client because in the native SQL select statement, we have passed the client as a current client. So why to get the data from the other client if we have, if we need to get from the current client itself so we can pass the parameter from our cds table function and we can pass the where condition as well this particular client field let me do app 6 over here you can see the data also in itvb ak table what all are the data available you can see now we have the data only from the 200 client and then number of entries also got decreased only we have 1110 entries in, instead of 2000 entries so you can do f8 and you can see the data for you here as well what all are the cells order we got now let me switch to the ABAP perspective and why sap recommend us to use the client field as a parameter along with this and environment environment annotation because whenever we write the code in the sql script we are passing here client and if we don't pass here client then performance wise it will be not good because it will get the data from all the client when it will this particular statement will be executed so that is the reason so sap recommend us to the pass the client field as a parameter here now we talk about client independent cds table function so so instead of doing the uh, client dependency here so what we have to do client independent to make any cds table function just you have to give this value client independent as soon as you give this particular cds table function is a client independent this particular annotation now you can't use in your cds table function you will get a syntax error the annotation is not allowed here for the client independent cds table function we can't pass this particular annotations so let me do one thing control shift less than again we got one more error if you see the error client name matches with the field name since this particular element list and this particular parameter is in same name space we can't give the same name over here it should be different name in my client dependent cds view we can give because this particular client field was not used as a element or, or as an element for the return table so it was just used to handle implicit client handling so in this case what we will do we will give some different name client one or something you can give since it is client independent cds table function and same way we have to define if you activate this one control f3 you will get error over here uh, if you try to change something or some when the since this client one is now uh, the parameter so you can see you are getting the error this is not defined identify must be declared so we have to change here as well to get the data now error will get removed let me activate control f3 i have passed the client print and I didn't pa didn't uh, I didn't default it with some value. So let me do F8 over here. As soon as I do F8, it will ask me 
client build. In case of the client independent client dependent CDS table function, it didn't ask. It took by default current client. But in this case, we have to pass some client value. Suppose I want to get the data for the 200 client. So I have to pass the client name over here that will be passed further down to here. And then we will get the data. If I click on OK, the we will get the result. But you can see one more important thing. This time, this particular first client field act is a client element. This is act is a field. It didn't use for the client implicit handling. It act is a return table field. So that's a very important thing. And one more important thing, if I don't declare this particular client field also, I will not get any error. Since this is not mandatory. If I'm not declaring over here, obviously I should not uh, use here as well. Uh, no, I can't do like this. Let me do controls less than. And first let me activate this one, control F3. And try to activate this one, control F3. Still getting error? No, now error is not there. So you can see for in client independent CDS table function, we no need to pass first field as a client. Second thing, this annotation is not allowed. Third thing, even through we have used the first element as a client, it will act as a simple normal field. And we will get the in our result, this particular client field. These three are the most important thing whenever we are using client independent CDS table function. So let me act, uh, activate both the things and let me do the data preview again. If I do the data preview, I have it. It will ask for the client. Let me pass the client. Uh, this time I will pass 800 and click on OK button. So I got the data from the 800 client this time instead of getting data from the 200 client. So like this, we can get the data from the different different client also. But why to pass unnecessary uh, if we need if it is client independent, we need obviously data from the all the clients or if you don't want to pass the client also that also we can skip just you have to do control shift less than you no need to pass any parameter here also you have to do the same control shift less than and you have to close this particular statement here itself. And if you want to get all client data then you can control shift greater than you you want to see from which client which sales order is coming you can do here also control shift greater than let me activate for cds table function control f3 then only we then we will activate our this particular amdp function control f3 so you can see both got both get activated let me do one more time client one not more one more time preview let me do F8. So you can see the result from the different different client, not only from 200 client, you can see the 600 client also data is coming. And if you small, if you see more entries, uh, suppose I want to see uh, more than 2000 uh, entries in that. So you can see uh, this time we got the data not only from 200, we got the data from the 800 client as well. So this is the way how client independent CDS table function works.